so good night everyone welcome again to my channel keeping it real alicia nelson and today on my podcast i have no other than dean williams and he's just going to introduce himself and talk a little about himself before we begin this podcast so dean hi alicia thank you for having me on keep it real you know good morning good evening good night to everyone on keeping it real all your listeners and viewers it's great to be here um even at this time here in the midst of our covid 19 global situation yeah um i have been a musician for over 25 years now a professional musician mm-hmm. i have been playing from pop music to gospel to rock to jazz to reggae to classical music um i am a guitarist first and foremost Mm -hmm. i have dabbled in the trumpet and the upright bass and the electric bass and singing and drums and i've done music production and stuff as well and composing um now i'm mostly a educator in um tertiary music education um firstly at costat and also at my own private um music school Mm -hmm. where i um teach music theory and also the guitar whether it's contemporary guitar electric guitar jazz or classical guitar and i teach a range of students from kids to young at heart very good so for those who are interested in taking music classes um please contact dean williams um i think it's very important i guess in the podcast we will decide you know how they will contact you but we should because we need to support you know support him we need to so yep. you know dean thank you so much for your introduction so i know you would have seen some of the questions i mean it was i mean there's so much thing i could ask but i guess this is you know i could change up the question depending on how the conversation do go. let's just do it let's just do it on the fly i don't mind i enjoy yeah, that n- no let's problem, have a chat right? yes let's have a chat so guys tuning to this podcast right so my first question going on to dean williams what first got you into music music got me into music i grew up as a a little kid hearing music all around my neighborhood i had a neighbor um miss thompson i used to live in st augustine and she had a piano and she would play that piano almost every day and she used to have music lessons and i used to put my head out the window and listen to that piano and i always wanted a piano my wow. dad got me a little um, toy piano on a, a small electric organ. I had guitars, I had flutes, I had um, harmonicas, I had little toy drums. Wow. But I had music around me. And of course, um, in those days, my dad had records, if anyone knows wow. what these things are, right? On vinyl. So I grew up hearing the radio and hearing records and, and stuff. Wow. So I was always surrounded by a lot of music. Very that good. got me into it. Yeah, you see, we have a lot of people here with talent and all these big famous people. It's because you know they had some connection with you know with something that they do. And Dean is just explaining you know how he got into music. So moving on to the next question, I guess a bit of time to what you say for the first one, but I was still asking, who inspired you to make music? Okay, well as I said, uh, Miss Thompson, the music teacher who lived next door to me. Yeah. It was one of them. My dad, I would say, played a huge part in that because he taught me my first three chords on the guitar. Wow. You know, he tuned the guitar and he showed me how to play those three chords and the rest is history. So I would wow. say my dad, you know, inspired me a lot. Along yeah. the way, I've been inspired by so many local musicians from yeah. like Zuman to... Um, all sorts of other musicians, country musicians, and jazz, and pop, and everybody. Wow. Very good, Dean. Moving Thank on you. to my next question. Who would you most like to collaborate with, with any form of music you need to do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That That's a very tough question. Wow. <laughs> yeah. um, I think regionally, I would like to collaborate with one of my my heroes, mm-hmm. um, Ronald Boo Hinkson. He's from uh, St. Lucia. Yeah. He's a really wonderful guitarist. Um, there's also uh, another um, 
lovely guitarist in Grenada I would really like to work with. His name is yeah. Jerry Hector. And of course, um, locally, I, I would love to work with Duvon Stewart, the panist. Yeah. Um, you know, amongst other musicians in the region. But those are the guys I, I could think of, you know, most yeah, rest. You, that you really want to collab with. Yeah, I think I have worked um, a lot with a lot of musicians in Trinidad already. And, you know, I wouldn't say mm -hmm. presently, but in recent history, I've done a lot of performances, a lot of jam sessions, you know, at different places and stuff. So I think with the local musicians, we have a really good relationship already. Yeah. And of course, I would love to work with all of them again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is really good. I would want to say something because you are big in the music industry in Trinidad. I would say that, right? Um, right. My question to you is, what is one of the message you would give to your fans? Um, what I would say right now, um, and in general too, even before, you know, support the local music, support local musicians. You know, whatever um, flavor of music that you like, whether it is gospel, whether it is pop, whether it is um, yeah. conscious, reggae, where there's, you know, alternative folk, whatever, spoken word with music. Yeah. You know, any sort of original, whether it's calypso, jazz, pan, whatever style of music. Support your artists, um, especially now at this time. Um, yeah. You have to put them online. You yeah. need to the online concerts. Um, go to their web pages or their Facebook pages or their Instagram. Support them. Um, chat to them, buy their stuff, buy their yeah. uh, downloads, buy their merchandise, the t-shirts, yeah. whatever, you know, and support them because I think right now is really, really needed. Global, yeah. you know, musicians are having a very tough time. Yeah. Not all of them are fortunate, like me, to um, still be able to work and teach. Yeah, that is so exactly. I am. I am really grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. Now this time. Yes, it's so true. I can see that. Yeah, um, those, if, depended, yeah. Okay, those who <laughs> depended on, you know, live shows, you yeah. know, right now, it's possible to have live venues and have people in there is not safe. Yeah. So it's, it's really, so it's, you know, it pretty much stole the live music industry. You could work at the studio, yeah. but, um, you know, live is really, really tough. Yeah. I could agree. Um, is there any platform you want users so go to they can see some of your work or any of your downloads? Is there any site you want us to know in particular right now? So okay, we, well we I um I operate on, on Facebook for the most part. I'm also mm -hmm. on um on Instagram. You can find me at Dean R F Williams right. on Instagram and Facebook, you know, at um Trini Man Dean. Right. And um I also have uh, my songs, the recent songs I did are uh, on um, CD Baby and on iTunes. Right, right. guys, check out iTunes. What were yeah. you looking for iTunes? Uh, you will look for the Trini Jazz Project. It's a contab um, sorry, collaborative album, Trini Jazz yeah. Project. And you're going to find me, Dean Williams, and you're going to find my songs there. Right. Yep. Repeat it one more time, Dean, for those who may need to know that because I mean, it's during this period a lot of people are home and they say that they are bored, so they are something that they could tune in to at the same Yeah, time. okay, okay. So you can get uh, my songs on iTunes and CD Baby at the Trini Jazz Project under that album, and then you're going to see my songs, Dean Williams, and it's going to be songs such as A Woman's Sweetness and. Um, Le Jouet Guitar, which is yeah. Creole, he plays guitar. Those are two of my original songs you're going to find there. And you could also um, contact me on Instagram and Dean RF Williams and also on Facebook on my uh, my personal page. Right. Yeah. You need, you need to do a YouTube channel too as well, Dean, so you could... Oh, yes, I do have a YouTube. Do have a YouTube. Yes. yes. Yes, do you know once up, you but, um, yeah. Yes, you know once you reach fine YouTube and never make it eventually start to pay you eventually. So you should yeah. really get into that avenue into really uploading a lot of videos because you do great work, you understand? Thank and you. Just, yeah, the more streams the better. Right? So guys don't forget to check out Dean. 
check out his page, check out his Instagram page. And moving on, as we see, we're in the COVID-19 and this is the period for stay indoors. And for some of us who still work like Dean and I, you know, I'm working in the bank, we still, we are still working. Um, and it's such a hard time. A lot of people have been forced to do, you know, to use technology and some hasn't, you know, has been, hasn't been familiar with technology. So it's a hard transition. So moving on to my question, what I want to say is the, how do you feel the internet has impacted the music? business thus far yeah um how would i think um say the internet has impacted yeah. um well really it um i believe it, it probably had a negative impact on the music um labels and stuff like that but what it has done eventually is that it, it made um the musicians and artists themselves yeah and the young ones it, it made it accessible for them to, yeah. to build it platforms to make their own fans yeah. um also technology they produce their own music make their own videos put them up and you know just like what we're speaking about today social yeah. media has a huge part in allowing them to connect and, and um monetize their their art and their stuff and get their music across and also their yeah. message you know a lot of artists have different messages yeah, yeah. a lot of different messages they want to get across to you know to their fans yeah that you know so inclined so i i think um the internet and social media has been really positive yeah and beneficial yeah yeah because, For the most part, yeah. yeah because i've seen a lot of musicians there and i know how it is in the music world and if you want to get a book out there i think social media is one platform where everyone can hear it because even though at least yeah this will get at least 500 people to listen and then eventually the more popular you get a lot of people could hear it just from using the internet itself so it does it, it has created you know some means of benefits in terms of getting your work more exposed out there and you did talk about the you know the negative too as well but you know but most musicians, most of the time, I think, I think they're aiming, you know, to get their work all out there. And social media is really the platform where they can get their work out there. You could, you could agree to disagree if you want, um, Dean Williams. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. um, I think it's good and I think change is necessary. Yeah. And the, the rise of, um, social media and, and all the digital, um, platforms. Yeah. Um, I think it's part of the necessary change in the industry. Yeah. Um, who knows what is going to change to after a while it's gonna keep changing yeah no and things sometimes go full circle we never know what what's gonna happen in the future but i think definitely things have changed and it's up to the artists and the the creators as they say yeah oh to keep creating exactly yeah. so true um moving on to my next question what is the best advice you have been given the best advice i've been given mm -hmm. wow because there must be times in when the music industry where you needed to get some advice from someone that could really that really help you to push and go on if i make sense or maybe advice is a short you have to make a decision and you know that advice helps you know it depends on the situation yeah i think the best advice i got um aside from you know being being the best musician that you could be yeah the best advice i got was try to be the best be when you you know because it's not always the, the best musicians that get the jobs yeah. but the that is it's the best to work with if you know what yeah. i mean yeah. yeah so i think that was the best advice i got that being a professional yeah is not necessarily about being the greatest player but being the person with the the best working attitude yeah that you're willing to work you get along with people you're on yeah. time yeah. you know you're a pleasure to have around yeah that was the best advice i got also too i got a advice after that which was like you know buy and invest in your own equipment yeah. <laughs> own your own yeah. instruments you know yeah yeah but to me that was the second best advice i got and i really took it to heart wow you know? thank you what do you think are some of the problems that musicians do face in Trinidad and Tobago? Um, the problems we face here, mm -hmm. one is, of course, is the size, the size of our market. Yeah. You no, know, it's, it's pretty small. And we have only a few venues that yeah. go around. And um, 
after you get to a certain um size or caliber as a musician you're gonna play in all of those venues yeah you no know? so then the challenge is now how you're gonna keep performing and not get stale or not you know being yeah. over at these same venues yeah I understand. You know, so that that definitely is a challenge also um producing work on a regular level when um we're in a market locally where we don't buy enough music it's not in our culture yeah. to buy a lot of of music you know um with the advent of, of social media you know yeah. you can groom your own crowd and, and get them to you know get into yeah. your stuff you may have to give some of them free music and, and stuff you know have deals yeah. and stuff and um but basically i just think size is part of it um also too we, we lack a, a musician's union yes yes so, um we have been dealing with the the lack of a consistent pay scale or pay grade or rate yeah yeah for you know pay musicians at yeah. the various um you know productions that we work on yeah whether in a theatre production, whether you're in a, a big, you know, musical, or whether you're in a yeah, a, a club performing or something, yeah, right? they should have definite rates, and we should also have you know um, other things to take care of musicians to like healthcare I and, find and, so. and so on, and so on, because all musicians, care. yeah, of course, all musicians, you know, are, are human, yes. and we're gonna these all these same challenges coming to meet us eventually yeah exactly and, uh, it would really be great to have a, a union like that something mm -hmm. like what we have for calypsonians and and pan and so on we have these yeah. other organizations that take care of their membership yeah. we should have one musicians yeah I so totally to me that that the challenges yeah yeah i totally agree those things need to take into consideration if these things need to consideration who are the right people you think that need to hear this in order to make those changes yeah. um i think um those changes need to come from within the industry and we need to to really mm -hmm. um i don't want to use the word man up but we need to to get serious about it yeah and um you know get working on it and, and having a committee and, and working on that agenda yeah i see dean williams so as you've mentioned before you teach you teach too as well right um do you want to give your um tell me what what um for young people who are interested in music i think a lot of people i know are interested in, in music but they're not so sure and if I make sense, am I um, am I saying it correctly? I think they are not so sure how to get there. If I'm making sense, you get where I'm coming from. What advice would you give to those who need that advice? I mean, coming to Dean Williams, I think for everyone that would be the right tracking to take right now because he is into music and he knows that he has traveled all over the world. I keep saying, you know, you have been to places. If you know what I mean. What advice would you give to those who have who might be a newbie to, into it and they really want to find their place in music because they have you know the talent and as they say I know it's all call about being a good team player and all those things but what advice would you give to these young persons for sure join Dean class for sure that's important yeah. what advice would you give them what advice would I you would give? tell any young musician right now the best yeah. advice I would give them is to become educated. Um, yeah do a course in music yeah especially in the area that you want to be in learn yeah. as much as they can about music theory yeah uh, learn the technique of the instrument and of yeah. course um try to understand the repertoire that you want to get into whether it's yeah. jazz whether it's classical music whether it's gospel whether it's folk whether it's rock um get the training um yeah. it's so accessible right now with with the internet you could get a teacher i could be a teacher if you like yes um, put that information out there you could, put that. You could go mm -hmm. to a university you could you know contact me at at costat as well yeah. as privately you know at my uh, my email when you get man at hotmail.com yeah uh, and um i can help you find you know help you find the right teacher as well 
But find your teacher whether you're playing violin, piano, drums, you wanna sing. Yeah. You, you wanna you're playing the steel pan already or whatever. Get into our music program. Get as educated and, and knowledgeable as you can become. Yeah. So yeah. it's gonna be easier for you when you get out there on the stage. You know, yeah. so you prepare them more qualified. I think it's, it will be the same as anyone who wants to do coding or IT, right? Get, yeah, get it's the same. Yeah, get get the skills. So when you hit the market, you're ready yeah. to do stuff. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You find yourself marketable. Yeah. 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 I could agree. So for those who are really, really interested, um, it's ready to advertise Dean work. Uh, I think you should. I will post some of the information. I can see email address at the bottom of this podcast. So for those who are really, really interested, please contact him. Um, as I said, he has online schooling right now. We're not at the moment during this COVID. So if you're feeling very lazy and you have nothing to do, then definitely you should go to his platform, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, to get all the information needed. So guys, this is the end of our podcast, and I hope you did enjoy. Dean, I want to say it's a privilege to have to have you over my podcast and to share information as usual. It is really know when somebody know their stuff, eh? they could be able to give information. And I think Dean is good at doing that. And Dean, I want to wish you um, all the best in what you're doing right now, because I know you're busy. Every time I message you, you know, you have this to do and you have that. And that's a good thing. I want to wish you all the best even into as well in your music career. And any last words you want to say to the audience before we end this podcast? Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you, first of all, to you, Alicia, for having me on again. Yeah, it's thank you. It's yes. my pleasure and to me it's really a privilege to be part of what you're doing. I really admire and enjoy the yeah. length and the breadth of the subject areas that you cover in your podcast. To me it's yes. incredible. I don't know how you find the time to do all of that. Yes, and, don't you so and can you to have a, a life and do all the other things that you do. Yes, and uh, yes, yes. at this point in time, you know, I'd like to tell you if you are ship um locally in Trinidad and abroad, you know, to to be strong and, and be calm and also um keep living and humans we are resilient that that is yeah. our spirit right yeah. you know use your faith keep your faith up um hold strong to your family yeah hold strong to your principles yeah. and also be prepared to change yeah and be prepared to cope with change yeah. you know life as as we know it has changed and i think it's gonna keep changing yes it's so true yeah? so it's so true strong dude. and be prepared to to deal with the changes yeah. you know yeah. and hold take hold close to their family and their faith that's that's yeah. all i want to say yeah dean i want to say you say it's such honestly you say it in a lovely way and i want to say <laughs> thank you so much for how are you know thanks for you for um for having you on my podcast and for guys i want to mention again please support his work please support his work i don't even want to mention it again because i just think that musician in that need to be like your work need to be recognized and i don't mind putting them on my platform to get recognized but please support his work and for those who are interested in music classes then you just want to repeat some of the information you were repeated before so they can contact you yeah sure definitely you can reach me at trinigataman.com or trinigataman at hotmail.com and also you can also get me as at 681 dean you could whatsapp me and also too you could reach me via costat as well where i am one of the adjunct lecturers and instructors there okay also you can reach me at um at youtube yeah uh, and also you could find me on other social media as well instagram and also facebook okay yes so thanks guy and this is the end of our podcast always remember to press the subscribe button and always feel free to comment like and share Good night, yeah. everyone, and take care.